Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Unity UT39E Plus Modern Digital Multimeter. Uh, I just got this in the other day, uh, picked this up off of eBay, cost me about 40 bucks, um, not a bad price, uh, it's nice packaging, straight from China. We can see the specifications here. Everything's in Chinese, but we can figure out it's got an AC and DC voltage range of 1,000 volts, AC and DC current of 20 amps. It'll do 200 mega ohms resistance, 200, uh, rather 2,000 microfarads of capacitance, 2 megahertz um, frequency counter. It comes with a thermocouple, so it will do temperature management from minus 40 C to 1000 C. It will also measure nano siemens, which is insulation testing from 0.1 to 100 nano siemens. And big thing, it is a 20,000 count meter. So it's a really nice feature for um, an inexpensive Chinese meter. Unity ship stuff in a nice looking box. But what's more important is what's in the box. And this is it. Um, it's a nice size meter, nice weight. Feels good in the hand. Uh, has a nice rubberized boot around it. Um, has a really good hand feel. Um, got a nice solid stand. Let me put it here. You can easily work stuff with one hand. It doesn't tip over, so that's a good thing. Um, turn it on, take a look at the display. Uh, it's a pretty nice size display. Um, you know, numbers are big enough. Uh, so just first impressions physically are, it's a, uh, it's a nice little meter. So, Let's, uh, let's run it through some paces, see what it does. Uh, for comparison, I'm going to be comparing this to my original Fluke 87. I've had this for many, many years now, and uh, it's never let me down. So we're going to set this over here. And first thing we'll do is let's take a look at some voltage measurements. So we're going to go, we're going to start at a, Two volt range. Gonna bring my power supply down here to just about one volt. And let's hook it up. See what it says. And my fluke is saying 1.013 unity. 1.015 looks pretty good. Let's bring it up here. 1.88, 1.88. The unity is not auto ranging, so we need to click it up a notch. Let's come up here. 4.66, 4.662. Nine point eight nine, nine point nine, seventeen forty two, seventeen forty three, not too bad. Gonna kick this up one more range. Let's crank this up a bit. Thirty one point three, thirty one point three three. And I'm just gonna max out the power supply here. And it maxed out at 50.3, and we've got 50.4. Uh, not too bad. And what's nice is we've got a little high voltage lightning bolt there to let us know that we're in some higher voltage. So let's uh, let's take a look at some AC voltage. We're going to 
come down here. And let's have a look here. So we've got 6.07 volts AC versus 6.05. Twelve oh six to twelve oh six looks pretty good. And we just need to kick up one range here. And we've got twenty three point nine six to twenty four. No complaints about that. So voltage wise it's looking pretty good. All right. Next up, let's uh, take a look at some resistance measurements. And let's get my leads here. So first thing we're going to look at is this this is a 10k ohm resistor let's put that in comes up 10.082k k7 says 10.09 pretty good to me next we're going to have a look at a 750k ohm resistor fluke reads that as 739, 740, and this is the same thing, 739. So, looking good. And the last thing we'll test is we have an old Wire around ceramic resistor, this is 5.6 ohms. And this is reading 4.88, 4.89, 4. .8, 4, .8, 4 .8, let's, let's call it let's call it 4.4.9. Luke 87, 5.0, pretty good, can't complain about that. So next up, let's, uh, let's look at some capacitors. Both of these meters will do capacitance testing. So we're going to put the fluke here into capacitance mode. This is a 68 nanofarad capacitor. There we go. 0 0.068 microfarad, looks good. Let's check out the Unity. Sixty-eight nanofarad. Not too bad. And just for fun, I've got this one cap here. I have no idea what it is. Coming up as 321 nanofarad.
0.321 like yep okay so I'd say capacitance wise both of these are uh, they're pretty spot on no complaints about that all right let's do a uh, let's do a quick little uh, look at current Let's set ourselves down here for amps. We'll put ourselves in the 20 amp range. There we go. All right. So I'm putting six volts into my 5.6 ohm resistor and it's showing that we're drawing about 1.22 amps. Let's check the same here on the fluke. And it's showing, showing the same, 1.21. It's got 1200, 1200 milliamps or 1 1.21 amps. So that looks pretty good as well. Right, another test. Both of these will do frequency. I don't really look at a multimeter as my go-to for a frequency counter, but they both do it. So we're gonna take a look. So I've got my Tektronix CFG 253 function generator and right now we're putting out about a one kilohertz sine wave. So we're going to take and set this to frequency. And let's plug this in. See what it says. I'm sorry, it's not on kilohertz, it's on uh, so it's 105. Let's put up to kilohertz here. There we go. So we've got uh, 1.05 kilohertz coming from the frequency generator, function generator. Let's have a look on the fluke. Um, it's entirely possible that I need to be all right there we go 10 kilohertz it's been a while since I've used the frequency function on my fluke but that says 10.07 let's go back Look here 10.075. Let's go up to 100, 100 kilohertz. Let's go up to megahertz, 1.12 megahertz. And I think we're outside the range of the fluke. Like I said, I have a couple of different frequency counters I would tend to use for this. But it's nice to know that I can make that measurement with it. Uh, specs say that it goes up to, I think it's four megahertz, two megahertz. So that's not bad for little handheld, little handheld meter. Um, last thing we're going to take a look at on here, I mean, it does diode testing, continuity testing, um, you know, I'm willing to take its word for that. Uh, I will hook up the thermocouple though. Never had a meter that does temperature measurements, so let's 
kind of interesting. Let's have a look here. Put this on temperature. It's showing 19C. Let's do Fahrenheit 66. And I look up on the thermometer over here and it's 60 ish down here. So makes sense. Just put, put it in my hand. Temperature definitely is going up. Took my hand off. Temperature is going back down. Let's see if we push it on the cool countertop here. Brings it down. Okay. Nice feature. Uh, it does transistor HFE testing. I probably won't use that. Too much if at all. Um, I also have one or two other testers that I can do that with that will tell me correct pinouts and whatnot of the transistor. So I'm just going to kind of skip that. But uh, yeah, not a bad little meter. So uh, I like it. Uh, Forty dollars seems to be well made, pretty rugged. Um, the switch feels nice. The display, night size display, has a backlight. Um, backlight is nice. Um, so yeah, if you're uh, Looking for a cheap meter, not too, too cheap, but uh, cheap enough. Uh, I think you could do worse than the uh, UT3090 Plus. Like I said, it's a 20,000 count meter. That's really nice. Um, Unity does make the UT61 Plus, I believe. That is an auto-ranging 20,000 count meter, but that'll run you somewhere around, I think, $90. So if you don't mind manual ranging, which really is not all that inconvenient, uh, you can get the uh, you can get that same resolution for sixty dollars less, sixty fifty dollars less, somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, go check it out. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.